Yeah, that's a radical warp right there. <laughs> okay, so this is to demonstrate one possible way to fix warped resin. This should be a flat line. It should be fairly obvious that it's got a really nice uh, compound curve going on there. So, what we'll do is, since this is so messed up, the old standard way to fix resin is to heat it up. There's no danger of the shapes running or anything like that. It just basically gets really soft. So, I've got my uh, heat gun here, 1500 watts, 375 Celsius, up to 500 Celsius. So it's uh, definitely fairly powerful in terms of the heat. What I'll do is clear out the rest of this area because that will ignite paper. I'm pretty sure 500 Celsius is greater than Fahrenheit 451. I could be wrong on that. This was only listed in Celsius. I don't know what it is in Fahrenheit. It's a lot. It's a hell of a lot. I do know that. So, Keeping this about just about a hand's width away. The shape should start changing in front of our eyes, and it is just a little bit. See that edge melting down there? It's kind of a curve in the middle. If you get too close, too hot, that'll start bubbling up all the paint. That's no good. Right now it's fairly flat. And the paint is starting to bubble up. So this is a hot piece of resin, which can be totally twisted like paper. I'm going to press it down here. Now this is really dangerous and not all that smart to do. I'll tell you that right now. You got to keep pressure on it because uh, if you just try and blast it with cold, the shape would pop again. So the edges are chilled, but there's still some warp going on because it's still a very warm piece of resin. However, you can definitely see it's flattened out now. So even those little bits of cold right there just twisted in out of shape. Still pretty good though. What I'll try and do let this cook under here for a few seconds. There, now this is nice and crisp and uh, it's got a little bit of a warp to it. As this comes back to room temperature, that should go away. Result, one flat piece of resin. See ya. And here we are glued back on. Whole process, about six minutes from... Uh, Last video to this one, or uh, the very first video when I was thinking about just breaking that off. Not too bad, this is going to be hours if not another day before it's safe to put the uh, engine rings in because these are definitely going to be delicate for a while. They are in place, they are uh, in fairly good shape, if we can get some focus here, maybe, maybe. There we go. So uh, it's kind of difficult to see where the crack line is, but it does in fact go right up along here. Over on the inside, it's definitely more obvious. Over on this side, 
you can definitely see it up in here and then it runs flat along there and on the inside definitely obvious dead center there but not so much up there so a little bit of paint that should definitely help out a little bit of filing maybe that'll help run some more glue along there get some capillary action going on to get the glue to snug in there real nice and good so uh, basically I can't touch this for the rest of tonight the decals are still wet on the guns I put a few others around the body and now those fins need some time to dry and now that I'm looking at them they could probably be a little more symmetrical something like that maybe this one's either too far in or that one is too far out. I may not be able to do anything about that. So uh, that's it for this guy for the moment. See ya.